there's a serious need for students to get involved in ag. I have friends who work in sales for agriculture. I have a friend who is a food technologist. Students don't always think that whatever they're interested in can tie back to agriculture, but they, they truly can. There's so many opportunities in communications, in lending, in sales, in science, in math that can take you back to ag and you don't have to go back to the farm. There's a world of opportunities out there. Okay, I'm Lindsay Holtzclaw. I grew up in Damascus, Arkansas. It's a really small town. Population was about 300 when I was growing up. I grew up on a cow-calf operation my grandparents ran. Spent our summers on the farm, but I really didn't think I would end up in agriculture. It was something my grandpa did. He was a retired dairy farmer. My mom's a nurse. She didn't really have any interest in farming. I loved spending time on the farm, but I didn't think it would be my career. I kind of thought I would probably do something in the medical field, follow my mom's footsteps. And I took an FFA class when I was in the ninth grade. I signed up because all my friends signed up. I thought the blue jackets were really cool, so I decided I would too. And through FFA, I wound up showing livestock. And that's when I, I figured out I loved agriculture. I wanted to be a part of it. And so veterinarian was what my mind pre-vet. We were all going to be vets, and the number that actually graduated with that was very, very small. <laughs> Zoology and Chem 2 decided that I was not going to be a veterinarian. But my freshman year of college, I spent a year as an Arkansas FFA state officer, and that's when a lot of things changed for me. That year, I actually met Tyson's communication specialist, so I think a light bulb went off at that moment, and right before I started my sophomore year of college, I switched my major to agriculture business public relations. I interned with Arkansas Farm Bureau and their public relations department. I interned with the National FFA organization as their social media intern during National FFA convention, which was really cool. And then it eventually led to me getting an internship with Farm Credit of Western Arkansas, and it led into a full-time position. So I've been really blessed. <laughs> it was not what I expected. It just kind of worked out, and I love what I do now. There's a lot of barriers in ag. If you're not born and inherit a lot of land, it, it can be really difficult. So knowing that we help people get started in that, that's really exciting for me. And there's a lot of farm credit members that almost identify with what we do. For me, one of the biggest senses of pride was whenever I was driving across Western Arkansas and saw the green signs that a lot of our members have in their yard that say proud farm credit member. And that was just really cool to me. I would never thought that somebody would care that much about their lender we help them in ways that other people weren't able to, so that's, that's really cool.